Have you ever heard of ginseng? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. So my family has a cottage on a lake, and we know a lot of the people on the lake. And one of the families that often comes up has a daughter that's my age. A few years ago, while she was visiting, I reached out to her and I was like, hey, can I pray for you before you go home? And she agreed. So I went ahead and I prayed for her. And then we just kind of went our separate ways and went on with our summers. The next year, she came back in town and I didn't offer to pray with her again. So time was coming for her to leave and go back home. And basically she came to me and was like, hey, remember that thing you did last year when you prayed? Could you do that again? And I was amazed that she came to me about it and something that I'd been nervous about and something that I wasn't sure had made an impact obviously had. And the Lord used my obedience to open that door, and I still have faith that God might do something with that connection someday. So I want you to be thinking about that as we go into today's Devo. It's called Worth the Wait by A.W. Smith. Have you ever heard of ginseng? It's a valuable plant used in a lot of health foods, and those who grow ginseng need to have a lot of patience. While many seeds will sprout within a week or two, when you plant ginseng seeds, they can take over a year to sprout. That's a long time to wait for a plant, especially when you can't see any activity above the surface of the soil. Planting something like ginseng can help us remember what it's like to tell someone about Jesus. Every time we witness to someone, that is, to tell them about Jesus and what he's done to save us, we're planting the seed of God's word. We may not see the results right away, but that's okay. Jesus is at work, even if we can't see it. So, instead of getting discouraged, we need to be patient. We can trust that God loves us and He knows what He's doing. And in the meantime, we can continue watering and tending to the seeds of the gospel by showing people Jesus' love and goodness. As we carefully wait for the seeds we've planted, we can show others how Jesus patiently cares for us. It may take a long time for a seed to grow, but when it does, it produces fruit that lasts forever. And that is worth the wait. So let's talk about this a little bit more together. God calls us to be part of his good work by planting and watering seeds of the gospel, remembering that he is the only one who can make these seeds grow, as we read in 1 Corinthians 3, 5-8. Have you planted seeds of the gospel by telling someone about Jesus? Have you been discouraged because you haven't seen any results? It can be hard to be patient, But as we rely on the Holy Spirit, we can keep showing people God's love and praying for them, leaving the timing up to Him. Consider taking a moment now to pray for some of the people in your life who might not know Jesus yet, asking God for good ideas of ways you could share His love with them. It may be that we won't ever see the results of the seeds we planted or watered, but God promises that His Word will accomplish His purpose. How might this truth set us free to trust Him with the results and keep planting and watering? As you and I can read in Isaiah 55 11, it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Now I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Proverbs 25 15, 1 Corinthians 3 5 through 8, and 1 Peter 3 15 through 16 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Do you want to learn more about the gospel? Well, I encourage you to head over to unlock.org and check out the Know Jesus tab and the other resources that we have there. Also, you're stuck with me again for tomorrow's Devo, so be sure to check back for that. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door for God in your life.